In this video, I summarize my interpretation of the book On Managing Oneself by Peter Drucker. I've been working on my personal development for a few years and one of the most effective things for me is to pose good questions for myself and ponder upon them. This book underscores the importance of being aware of ourselves and offers a great set of questions that you can ask yourself to accelerate your development. A key idea in the book is the aspect of awareness. You can be more aware by knowing three things about yourself. One, what are your strengths? Two, which environments do you succeed in? Three, what are your values? Once you know this, the path you need to take will become obvious. Strengths. A good exercise to know your strengths is this. Expect what will happen in 9 to 12 months. Wait for that period and compare notes to what actually happened and introspect on this difference. This will not only help you become more aware of your strengths and weaknesses, but it will also help you recognize what you are doing that deprives you of the full benefits of your strengths. Environments. You need to know which kind of environments work optimally for your performance. Do you work well under stress? Are you better in conversations when you write or when you speak? Do you learn better through reading or listening? And so on. It's also important to know about your values. What kind of problems do you want to contribute to? What kinds of relationships would you like to have with your peers? And you need to ensure that the organization you work for shares these values. Now that you are aware of yourself more, how do you act in the world in light of this awareness? Drucker argues that we should focus on our strengths and exploit them maximally instead of trying to get our weaknesses to a mediocre level. For example, if you're a good engineer, it would be better to double down on it and try to become a great engineer instead of changing strategies and trying to become good at something you're not good at. For example, it might be being a manager. Also, think about how you can maximize your contributions in light of all that you have learned about yourself by being aware. And make a plan for the next 12 months that is ambitious but reachable and something that is measurable. Then decide on the actions based on these goals on how you can get there. Stick to those actions and trust the process. This, Drucker argues, is a good way to navigate the world. Drucker extends these ideas of awareness not only to yourself but also to the people around you. He argues that applying these principles to other people can help you understand them well and you can adapt yourself accordingly to understand the ways in which they work most effectively so that your collaboration can be more effective. Drucker also believes that by the age of 40 to 45, Many of us would reach our career peak and we would start getting a little bored with the work we do. So he talks about developing a second major interest so that you have something else that you're excited about when your main career seems to not go that well or get boring. These are my main takeaways from the book. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.